Alright guys, so I just wanted to kind of cover this real quick because um, I had sent in my wax provider a question regarding what kind of wax they recommend for the Florida summer because last year we were using the Freedom Wax and it was okay, um, but I felt like it melted too soon. So rather than just getting an email response back, this is what I get. Watch this. Hi Scott, it's Tasha with American Soy Organics. I just wanted to jump on here. I see that you submitted a question. So I wanted to get you a quick answer. Um, so it looks like you've been buying Freedom Wax for over a year in our candle for our candles and love it. Great. My question is for the Florida summer, is there a wax that you offer that is more heat tolerant? Um, great question, Scott, because that's coming, that season's coming upon us. Um, two things. Yes. Um, so right now my freedom melt point is 120. My millennium is 130. And my Midwest container, I believe, is 124, 125, I believe. She's so on the it. highest one I have is the millennium. Um what that one if you've never if you've only been working with the freedom, so the millennium, what it's different. Um basically is what you're going to do is you're going to pour this one at a lower pour tap like lower temperature um you're pro probably going to pour this one around on like 105 115 freedom you've probably heated it up um added your fragrance dyes and poured right away this one like if you would get that which i would recommend the millennium for you to try um because it does have that higher melt point that 10 degree melt point higher melt point um but you will, so like I said, 105 to 115 is where you want to pour this at. You'll want to wait until it starts getting cloudy. I know that's kind of weird, but you'll want to wait until this wax kind of starts to get cloudy and then pour it. Um, I will also tell you, however, um, this wax will pull away from the sidewalls. It's just how this wax is made. Um, it, it pulls away from those sidewalls. So if you're putting it in a clear jar and you're not going to like that look, I'm just letting you know that now um, that it will pull away from the sidewalls. It's still going to give you a beautiful candle. Okay. Um, I will also tell you too, I know that um, the owner here at American Soy Organics is trying to come up with a formula for the freedom to have a higher melt point. Um, for instances like this, especially, you know, when we're shipping to you guys in Florida, in Texas, you know, like the southern hot states, um, that's a, a big problem too. Um, one other advice, piece of advice I will give you too, if you are still wanting to keep the freedom, which is fine, um, I would order it on Monday. That way you know it's not sitting in a truck over the weekend or sitting in a warehouse that's not temperature controlled over a weekend or anything. You order it on Monday. You should have it by the end of the week. No problem at all. Um, and then, you know, like I said, then it won't be sitting in a container or anything like that um, for a long period of time. That will also help too. So, Millennium. You could try that for sure. We do have the five pound bag option too. If you want to just try, um, stick I'm with the five pound one. bag and try it to see if you're going to like it. That is our highest melt point, um, wax. So definitely give it a try. Like I said, you're still going to get beautiful candles. The millennium does have a little more, um, tolerance for fragrance. So your fragrance load can be a little more, um, in the millennium as well. It holds color really well. Um, you're still going to like the wax. I, I promise you. Um, like I said, that one thing about the millennium that's different than the freedom is it will pull away from the sidewalls. So Scott, let me know if you have any other questions or need help with anything else. Um, you can, um, I'm sorry, you can reply back to this email and it'll come right back to me. Um, so let me know if you need um, anything else or have any other questions. I look forward to hearing from you, Scott. Thanks. Have a great night. All right. So here's what we're, you know, here's a couple of things I've, I've picked up on this. First of all, I've never had an email response like this. That's freaking awesome, honestly. Um, Chris asked a question uh, to them about uh, skin safe and um, additives because with shaving pucks you have to put some type of soy wax in them 
in order to like prevent razor burn and things like that so she did the same video another video for him um but this woman is like not even playing she's like i've got this i've got that i mean she doesn't have to sell me i'm i'm going to continue to buy from them because it is 100 percent organic and and um additive free so the candles that i put out to people are going to be um safe and they're not going to cause harm to you or your air conditioning system or anything like that but like i said the one thing i noticed last year was you know during the summer months you know things were looking kind of faded um they were uh cloudy on top because once they melt and then you know reharden so what do you have is what i was asking and she simply could have just responded to the email with well try this but did the video instead i, I found that somewhat personal i found that a little bit of a sales tactic i found that like really awesome um so yeah, DanielEco.com, guys. You know where our stuff's coming from. She's given all the pointers. Um, the the sidewall pulling away from the sidewall is what we call wet spots. It does not affect your candle. It just does not like adhere to the sides of the jar. And a lot of that can happen from um, pouring too hot, pouring too cold, etc. I think I might have a couple of ideas about maybe heating up the jar um, to match the temperature of the wax when it goes in so that maybe this little sidewall or wet spot issue that she's talking about won't be as bad. But if it's going to stand the, the heat of the summer while we're at markets, then that could be better. So um, anyway, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, email response really went above and beyond and honestly in any type of business you're in whether it's gig work um w2 whatever it doesn't hurt to go a little bit above and beyond because customer retention at the end is really what's important whether that money is going to your pocket or someone else's pocket you're still going to have a consistent flow of customers because they're happy with the service they're receiving that's all i got to say bye